day 35 of Hacking Our Anxiety. Today we're doing Buteyko breathing. Dr. Buteyko was a doctor who studied breathing patterns. In his findings, people with asthma and anxiety were not breathing properly, so he came up with a set of exercises. We're gonna start with a control pause. So grab a timer, we're going to cater the rest of the exercises to how long we can hold our breath comfortably. So get your timer ready, we're gonna track the number of seconds. Take a normal breath in, take a normal breath out, and hold and start the timer. You're gonna release the hold at the first sign of discomfort. And when you release, you should be able to go back to breathing easily through the nose. And if you can't, you held it for too long. So you're gonna go back and make sure you stop counting at the first sign of discomfort. The number of seconds it took you to hold your breath is your control pause number. In an ideal world, that number is 30 seconds or more. That means you have perfectly healthy breathing. If your number is between 20 and 30, you have room for improvement. And anything less than 20 means you need to make some pretty big adjustments to breathe properly. I myself found my control pause was 16 seconds. So we're gonna start with some simple nose breathing. We're gonna relax our body and breathe slowly in and out of the nose and try to cultivate a little bit of air hunger. We wanna find a place where we're comfortable with wanting to breathe a little bit more deeply than we are. Buteyko breathing is nose based. So only breathing through the nose and having those breaths be quiet and calm and soft. So studies show that people with anxiety, especially if you find yourself stuck in that fight or flight mode all the time, usually have lower blood oxygen levels. So nose breathing increases nitric oxide in our blood. And when this happens, it then increases the oxygen uptake and then kicks on our parasympathetic nervous system, which is our rest and digest mode. So to prepare for the next exercise, we're going to clear our sinuses. So take a normal breath in, take a normal breath out, and then rock your head back and then back to where you started a few times slowly. When you feel the need to take a breath, stop, take a breath and repeat as needed. During this exercise a few times, you should be able to breathe through your nose a lot more easily. Now remember that control pause number that we started in the beginning? What we were gonna do is breathe in, breathe out, hold the breath, and we wanna hold for half of the number of the control pause. So me with my 16 second control pause, I'm going to hold for eight seconds. When we release the breath, if we're unable to breathe normally afterwards, we wanna shorten the length that we're holding the breath. So after holding for half of the control pause, we wanna take a few regular breaths, get back to normal, and then repeat a hundred times in a day. That number might sound intimidating, but I found it only takes a few minutes and you can break it up throughout the day. So the part that surprised me was that the breathing actually had a pretty noticeable effect on my allergies and I was able to breathe much easier through my nose, especially from like the head rocking back and forth exercise. Now that said, cultivating like like what they call a breath hunger was not particularly pleasant. If anything, I would not say that was great for the feelings of anxiety. Perhaps there's something to it if you actually make this a practice and do it more often. So 10 of 10 for allergies and for effects on anxiety to be decided.